I spent a great deal of my life not as a believer in faith. My religion was the belief in that you can figure everything out and that the world is rational and you can deconstruct it and make sense of it. If I became not only an ER doc, but I was a head of a hospital chief of staff and head of an emergency department, there came an intersection where I started seeing changes in disease based upon the environment. And I began to notice changes in our environment in general. There's no elms on Elm Street anymore. There's no chestnuts on Chestnut Street. There's no caribou in Caribou, Maine. The changes have actually been profound. My wife asked me a question that was gonna change my life. And she said, what do you think the biggest problem in the world is? I thought for a moment and I said, the world is dying. And my question was, if there's evil and if the world's dying, what is there on the other side? What, what is there to counter all this? And I began a search to try to make sense out of the world. One day, I, I picked the book up and I read through it. And one verse that really struck me was in Matthew chapter 7. And that's where Christ says, judge not lest ye be judged. I realized that things were really bad environmentally speaking, and I thought that I was really good about it, and I listened to this verse, and so we went about becoming downwardly mobile. And we went from a doctor-sized life to, we went to a, we moved into a house the size of our garage. We cut our electric bill down, and we cut our, our fossil fuel down, and we cut a lot of things down. I began this process of learning and, and, and this walk and this journey with, with Christ. We began to keep the Sabbath. We began to think about what does it mean to serve God. And I began to think that it was the only answer actually to the environmental problems. That only through, through our faith can we actually fix the problems. We got involved in a church and that church did wonderful, wonderful stuff. But if you talked about the environment, it was almost as if you were talking about something that was heretical. How many of you have heard Christian and tree hugger in the same sentence? How many of you have had a sermon on trees? But they occur a thousand times in the Bible. It's the symbol of the Lord. The Bible is a story about God relating to us through the made world. Environmentalism is kind of the only activity that we can carry out where we worship God all the time. And we're not going to get thanked for it. In other words, if you live that mindful life, if you begin to live a little more simply, a little bit more humbly or meekly, as Christ would put it, you begin to grow as a spiritual human being. The last page of the Bible, Revelation 22, God looks at a tree. That tree is not just a regular tree, it's a big tree. Of course, God's tree, it's the tree of life. And under this tree, we're told that in the shade of it, all the nations will finally find peace.